The yeah. toxic gossip train. Do, 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 do. Chugging down the tracks of misinformation. How many, how many times have you watched it? <laughs> I mean, One. I've just seen it a million times on TikTok. Yeah. You sent it's it like to me sound. when I was still in New York and you were like, I, I want to see you react to this. So I, still, I still <laughs> haven't watched it. I don't really know. I mean, I've seen like three seconds of it. Oh my God. Is it? A, it seems like it's a nightmare. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It's, it's just, just like, 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 kind of cringy. Like, why would you... Why would you do that for like an apology? <laughs> do you think she ran that by publicists? I think no. she had to have like been like, well, said, you guys think this is good? No, she said, she was like, my team told me not to make a video, so I'm going to sing instead. Which like doesn't they, mean anything. <laughs> like, okay. She still had to have ran it by her team going, what if it's a song? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I know. Who knows? But I highly, if, if her team said that, you got to get a new team. I'm picturing her team. They're like, what is this? And then they're just like, Oh my I also God. saw that she copyrighted the song, yeah. and then when other people use it on YouTube, she's claiming the copyright to make money off of it. Yeah. Okay. Pretty smart. Kind of. Well, right. Especially when your bank account uh, will probably, probably be looks dwindling. like zero. Yeah. yeah. Do you think you would be a good publicist or like a PR <laughs> no. crisis, a PR crisis mm, manager? No. No. I no, because I sometimes I like I judge how people react completely wrong. Yeah. If that makes sense. I also think those people don't really do anything. Like who? Who has a good crisis PR person? Nobody. When you when there's a problem, you're just fucked. Like there's nothing you can do. No one ever comes out of a thing and is like, you know what? That was a great response. We're yeah. all forgive you now. There's some woman no one's on ever TikTok been for... who like is a PR crisis manager. Oh. I watch, and she's like, she's like 50, maybe 45. She really is. She follows like a a case going on with celebrities, <laughs> and she. T gives her publicist opinion and it's really interesting but like no one has ever been uncanceled no one's ever been forgiven because of an apology that a crisis people PR just forget i'm trying to I think, think a good publicist I know, manages to like pull the person away and they forget about i mean that's it. all a pr that's my thing is i think a, P a crisis pr person all they do is say just shut the fuck up that's it that's all you have to do what's the no. best way to handle getting canceled just shh no it i disagree with it, that i think it depends what it is dane like, cook was dating like a 19 year old or something and he just stopped talking about it and everyone forgot about it. He still is dating. dating yeah, I know. They're married now, I think. Yeah, it's crazy. But if so you would have down... went out and been like, guys, listen, yes. we're, been, we're very you, much in but love. But I also think that just like him dating a 19 year old speaks to how he's going to handle it publicly irregardless. And it's not like he, to him, he probably doesn't think he has <laughs> anything to apologize word. for. Well, that is now. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, I just it needed is? one. <laughs> What's the, not a word? Irregardless. That's not a word. No, it's no. one that we we talked about it on. on That's so funny. We I feel like I can see you guys like those fucking idiots. <laughs> I mean, everyone's an idiot who says that. Uh, Wait, irregardless uh, is not a word. It, I think it was Ben Khan's least favorite word because it's not a real word. Oh, well, that's a fun fact. <laughs> you, I think you just say regardless. Okay. Just I, I was saying that, but then I switched it. Yeah, because irregardless is like not regardless, yeah. but regardless means not. You know? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, it's like saying I could care less. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. No, I couldn't care less. Malapropisms. I could care less. Malapropisms is what I can't it is. Think of it now. I could care. What's the wrong one? I could care less. Care less. That's couldn't. what you say. People say I could care less all the time. Oh yeah, it's like, I know so you care a lot. Or... It drives me insane though when I hear yeah. people say it. But you know what though? I've been learning to just get real loose about how people talk though, because sometimes <laughs> I think I I saw a video that was talking about. Correct grammar sometimes is like a point of privilege. Like, and... yeah, well, you just corrected me and laughed at me and said that irregardless isn't a word. <laughs> so I have to so... know that some people wow. come from, I have to learn that some Toxic people. Toxic gossip come... train coming in. Yeah. There's a class dynamic. There's a class right? dynamic, yeah. and I know some people come from different backgrounds <laughs> and have other intellectual like, yeah. disabilities. Yeah. And I'm, you know yeah. what? It's a point of privilege for me to know it's my It's not grammar. Matt's fault totally he's up is. here and we're down here. It's class so wise. True. There's like... also a gender thing at play, like women's brains. Totally. Yeah. Way <laughs> dumber. Totally. Yeah. But you well, know, irregardless, <laughs> um, irregardless, I have been watching Suits. Oh, well, me have too. You? Isn't no. it so good? Oh. But I did see, or did someone send it? It was like I, trending on I've Netflix. It really. is trending on Netflix. It like just came out on Netflix. I also. apologize so much. <gasps> Why? Do you really? I, I, I think you railed I was on just, it in the last I, episode. I, I railed on it. Have we posted that one yet? That was yeah. the one we just no, posted. The clip, oh. I made a clip of it. When posted the clip, I was oh. like, that is oh, not. Oh, I did see that. <laughs> I was like, that is not me saying that I hate Suits and like. Oh, well, the thing is, it was you saying that. Are people mad at me? It showed up. No. It's just like funny. I don't think I ever sent this to the group. 
Yeah, I think no, it's because it did. just came I today. It just no, came. I sent a different thing. I think it was Tristan. He was like, Suits is the best show oh, ever made oh, oh. or something. Uh, it, the first season is like unbelievably cringy. Couple. But it's it's a good watch. I was I've, yeah. I'm like eight episodes deep on season two now. I feel like it's any like any of those shows like Grey's Anatomy starts really strong and now they're on season twenty and it's like end it. Yeah. I think like a lot of shows that are made for network television in that way kind of just prolong when they sh- they should kill it off. True. It's just quit while you're ahead. Yes. Yeah, because they start jumping the shark and make like weird plot points. Did you that are, like... do the Monday crossword? Yes, that was on it yesterday. Jumping you, the shark. Do you know yeah. that phrase "jumping the shark" and what it means? Obviously. <laughs> do you? Do you know? No. Yeah, we do. What is it from? We can come the shark. We can figure it out. Okay. Well, what is, what <laughs> What's is the, the phrase? Sentence? It's like jumping the ship. It's like that's you, what they like, jump ship. Yeah. No. Jump ship. No. Jumping the you shark. Okay, okay, let's say. Okay, okay, so you leave something before it gets scary. No. Well, hold on. Let them use it in a sentence. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think that. Can you spell it first? S H A. Jump the shark. Okay. S H A R K. No, use it in a sentence. Oh, so I think uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia when it turned out that Mac was really cousins with his brother. The, the show jumped the shark. The show yeah. like, got bad. But what, well, why? Oh, or, can you try, try to that, that's that's pretty exa- accurate to what the phrase means. Or like, they, oh, they we want. need to have a guest in here every single episode, like for us as like our show. Okay. Or like, or, oh, it's like getting we, ahead that, of yourself. It's like, well, no, I don't want it to just jump the shark. Pretty much the phrase just means we'll let them like, figure it out. Okay. What does it mean? It's like a spelling. They won't know the, they Everyone's won't know the, talking. Okay, I'm fine. so stressed. Yeah. I'm gonna jump the shark. Can, you, means. can you use an example, but for a different show that I sure name a show that you'd watch. Um, Let's do Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Um, Grey's Anatomy jumped the shark when they brought in a whole new cast that wasn't related to the original cast. I don't know if this is something that happened, but that would be something that you would they, say. They uh, fucked themselves over, kind of. I mean, they got, or when they, they killed off a certain character. It's like, yes. that? It's like, like that's they, when they did jumped. something they didn't need to do. Um, For the sake of... The, entertainment yeah yeah so yes <laughs> yeah. that's exactly the it's phrase it's jumping the shark so but you guys the, knew it the, from the origin <laughs> but, you know, the origin of it though yes. is the show happy days yes. right sunday f- monday happy days let's not get copyright tuesday, wednesday, but... happy days <laughs> that's fine cut it there you uh, think our voices are good enough to get copyright that's oh yeah apparently you can compliment. jason was one time just going stay yeah, yeah, I know. and then <laughs> I said, do you like pina colada? Oh, and they sorry, let's just the rest. That was when they first, they really were being bad about it. They cranked it. it up to 11. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully Thanks it's not as bad. Anyways, Jumping the Shark, the show Happy Days. Character Fonz, played by Henry Winkler. There's an episode where he's like water skiing, and there's like a shark, and he jumps the shark. And it was like one of the most like bogus like stunts in a show and everyone was like what the hell is this what the hell is this show (laughs) what has it become and it was just a ridiculous attempt to keep people entertained and that became locked in as a phrase and it came from that show yes Yes. so so when was that like the 70s yeah Yeah. but it's been a thing in tv where like you'll read a you know uh, a review of a show and it will say oh yeah lost really jumped the shark in season five when it turned out they were going back in time or something like they okay. the phrase jump the shark it was in the crossword on monday also which yeah. is why we're talking about it but uh, I, which i completed 13, so I. 13 minutes and 46 seconds mondays are the easy days I did right 15 14 minutes uh monday is the easiest yes mm. although this t- this week tuesday tuesday I I, i'm do down it. i'm down to three i'm do you guys do three. the mini uh, yeah, if I'm like, in, if I'm like oh. middle school, like, <laughs> well, I was like, is it impressive? That yeah, I can finish mini, in forty seconds. It's like thirty. It's thirty, yeah, it's like 30 seconds. seconds. It's like, like, should we just do the crossword as an episode? <laughs> that would be <laughs> so much fun. Oh my God, that, we and we pull it up on the TV and we just yes. yell at each other. I would love I to do that. They're so fucking hard. But it's just me and Carly <laughs> sitting in silence the whole time. Googling. There is, there is like, I'm a, really quick with them. Now. Yeah, I. We don't want to do one now. I got almost finished the Sunday with Omri when I was in New York. It was really. Fun. So my Sundays birthday? are the hardest. Yeah, you, wait, you, the the Sunday one that had the Chinese characters. Yes, yes, yes. Japanese. The, oh, oh, what do you mean? That's that was Ni Hao. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, did it spell Japanese characters? That's a Chinese. I thought I didn't. It was Ni Hao. <laughs> the way you're it was so Hello like... in in Mandarin. The I don't first know. Thing. I, and just... it was the moving truck. The, what was that? The moving truck. Yeah. What were they? Like the guy carrying the box into the truck. I can't remember. I can look it they up. Have photos so... now. Yeah, it was the clues on the Sunday crossword. I posted on my story. They a picture of a person with a moving truck? Yes. Yeah. I posted on my story, oh, New York New York Times with you on maniac mode. 
because the clues were psychotic. My brother and my dad were like, you need to try to solve this. It's your birthday. But I was like drunk and I'm like, oh, you're, my you're like it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the moving truck. So look, what was it? You see the clue? It's like those um, Instagram filters. Yeah, where you have to, like, the beginning is moving look. something. Moving, that would piss me off. Picture. I'd be like, <sighs> moving. Oh, um, and so this. Judge, court, legal representation. That's I, I had this is why they piss me off. I'm like enough mind games. This guy, see this little guy. Wait, so is it just all photos? No, no. This is like four of the clues were just photos. Sick, cough, spitting image. So it's all like drawn. I know. Okay, I feel it. like I can do it now. Do another one. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I I got it. You can do the crosswords. You got to start thinking like well, your crosswords. I don't crossword. know that language. You have well, to start thinking okay, like Okay, so this crossword. one was it was character sketches. Oh, that one does that not make sense. Chi- that is Chinese, though. By the way, how dare you think that's Japanese? <sighs> I don't know. I'm sorry. You have Japanese is on your you. shirt, and you can't. Oh, it is on my shirt. Yeah. Wow. I always thought the Japanese Stop Asian hate. Japanese Mike. is the one that looks like little smiles. <laughs> like that's what I thought this looks like. No. Guess yeah. I gotta read, take my Japanese class, put on subtitles for Dragon Ball Z. I got Dragon Ball Z on VHS, by the way. <laughs> Which so one? The Android saga? Get the f- hell out of here. <laughs> I feel like... Is it the one that's part of the collector set where if yeah. you line them all up, it's one picture? Sure is. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, it's gonna I be cool. I want cell games. You're big about the collections, man. Mike anyway. gave me the best birthday present. I got Xenon, Girl of the 21st <gasps> Century wow. on VHS. That is a flex. Did you watch it? Uh, Haven't popped it in yet. No, wow. Aaron, I have not. That is a good well, gift. Yeah. Where'd you find it? eBay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are most of them from eBay? What does eBay stand for? Uh, Electronic Bay. Is that it? Actually? Wait, there's not the others? Yeah. What are the AY? You bought that whole set? Yeah, it's three tapes. That's more than three tapes. That's four. Yeah, can't you count? Oh, I guess it is four. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, eBay is what? Electronic I Bay? Sell, how much was that? Like 30 bucks. There's so many like anime VHSs <laughs> on eBay for so cheap. You can get like the full Dragon Ball Z collection for a hundred bucks. Did they but it's like, who's 80? your favorite Dragon Ball Z character? Aaron? I never. I'm a female. You and seem I more did like a Vegeta, that. a Vegeta girl. I watched or, Pokemon. Did you watch Pokemon? Uh huh. Yeah, anime was great. Did you guys play the games? Did like when it came out, Game Boy, Pokemon Blue? I did, but I didn't know what was happening. You didn't know <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you mean? What are these because animals? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Because I didn't know what Pokemon was, but like my friend had the game and gave it to me, so I popped it in and I was like, what am I doing? And I was like, what are these characters? Yeah. <laughs> I liked awesome. the show. Gotta catch, you remember the theme song? Of course. Gotta catch them Pokemon. all. Pokemon. It's oh so true. A courage will pull us through. It's crazy they made a Pokemon Snap be... game. I think I could sing majority of the song. The camera one? Yeah, they made a video game where you just take pictures of Pokemon. Yes, yeah. and then you got to go to Blockbuster well, with your, your memory card. And Remember then you they had it on your phone? No, I'm saying before the phone. But then you got to, Blockbuster would have a machine. It was a Pokemon Snap, like, gallery thing, and you could put it in your memory card and, and get print out the pictures of your pictures. What? Whoa. Yeah. Oh, I, like, got all the cards and everything. You bought Pokemon cards? I did. Nerd. Wow. <laughs> Okay, Animorphs. <laughs> <laughs> What's good, everybody? Welcome to Good Influences. <laughs> wow. That was the longest intro we've ever had. Thank you, thank you, thank so you chaotic. so much for yeah, sitting so with us on this beautiful day. Whether you're watching, Hot listening day. to us, enjoying your summer, getting ready for the school year. Hell, I don't happy know. Happy August. But we're happy oh, that you are here. My name is Matt. There's Aaron, Mike, and Carly. And we just want to say that we love you and thank you so much for being with us. Today, Carly, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, we are talking about back to school. <laughs> back to school? Back to school. Oh, that's no. a good idea. Back to school. So we're we're 30. Dad, that I'm, I'm not, not a fool. fool. I got my, my sh- lunch packed up. My, my shoes tied tight. Is this a Rebecca Black song? I don't get in a fight. I think this is from Hap- uh, Billy Madison. Great job. Uh, This episode is sponsored by Factor. If you guys know me at all, I'm not someone who likes to cook, okay? I don't like the time it takes. I don't have the patience for it. I just like to eat. And that's why I like Factor meals because they are America's number one ready to eat meal kit that can help you fuel up fast with chef prepared, dietitian approved, ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. I'm telling you these meals are 
so good they sent us a box to do this ad read so we can like have personal experience and went through them in probably five days with my, my boyfriend and i combined like obsessed they have so many different kinds of meals you can choose from you could level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini leeks truffle butter and asparagus or if you're looking for calorie conscious options ahead of the busy season try the delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. With Factor, you can rest assured that you're making a sustainable choice. This August, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered to your door. Ready in just two minutes. That's right, two minutes. That's what gets me. It's quick, it's easy, it's already there. Uh, no prep, no mess. So there you go. Head to factormeals.com slash good50 and use code good50 to get 50% off. That's code good50 at factormeals.com slash good50 to get 50% off. I thought it was like a wreck a black Friday different oh, version no. or something oh, oh no much better than that. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> much better. Rebecca Black Friday, though, is pretty damn good. She's catchy. Do you guys like when, now? I would say it's like pretty camp. Yes, it's so camp, it's camp now. It was like, I don't know. It transcended then it was the time. like. I mean, the reason it went viral is because of it how. It was terrible. Yeah, yeah, but then there were all those like ripoffs that were similar to it. Remember like, I like Chinese food or. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there were like these other songs that people were trying to make that were like these. I like Chinese food. It's like, I like Chinese food. <laughs> no, I didn't. People will know what I'm talking about. It came out. It was like the What's same up? person who made Rebecca Black. <laughs> So, Friday song made this song called I Like Chinese Food. I do not Oh, remember. I remember like going in a wormhole because whoever produced or like the YouTube channel that Friday was on, they had so many songs like that by other like kids. Oh. Yes. And they were like <laughs> bad. <laughs> Just bad. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It was that Benny Blanco did it. Yeah. Benny Blanco did it. Yeah. Rebecca Black's Charlie music Pooh. now is so good though. Well, yeah. I she's gotta listen. she's like electronic a fantastic. Pop. I'm blown away. Everything she does. I'm just like. Yeah, when I see her on TikTok, I'm like, oh, she's got it. Yeah. So, yeah. She, she always had hottie. it in her. Yeah. From day one. Didn't she make, like, no money from that song? I think she donated it all. Oh, I'm pretty who? sure. The I Red can't Cross, imagine it was a good deal. Mom, like, mom, I'm... Moms for Liberty. <laughs> <laughs> you guys seen what that is? Oh, sorry. Well, moms talk, for Liberty. Shouldn't talk politics. No, let's talk what? about the sound of freedom. <laughs> <laughs> huh? <laughs> Have you seen that, though? I really do want to see it. I, I, I'll but apparently, till, I'll wait till it comes out on TikTok Live. <laughs> it's a Sound of Freedom supposed to be a conspiracy movie, or people yes. making conspiracies about it. It's well, because it's it's adjacent to that demographic, and there's been a went few on. minor inconveniences that people have had. <laughs> Therefore, it is a global conspiracy. Mm -hmm. Oh, but just but I've literally never heard of this movie <laughs> because because until today. Well, because that's the problem. Yeah. See, yeah. she hasn't heard of it. <laughs> This is something Disney passed up on it, Netflix passed up on it, Hulu. The oh, liberal media obviously. doesn't want you seeing this film. Of course Disney passed on it. It's a fucking Jim Caviezel taking ripoff. Yeah. Like, yeah. Good grief. I know, but they're just run. I don't know. It's taken. Apparently I'm a bad person. Who? Taken? Oh, yeah. Love Liam Neeson. Dude, oh, taken is so good. Yeah. yeah. I have a particular set of skills. Yeah, that's like cult cultural. F I mean, yeah, if you're going to make a ripoff, that's just not as good with an actor that nobody gives a shit about. Mm -hmm. Whose dad would do that for them? Huh? My dad. Your dad would? You know, my dad? Yeah, I think your dad actually is like the one dad out of. Well, maybe Carly's dad, too. Mm, probably. Oh, yeah. He's a firefighter. right? I think my yeah. dad would want to do that. <laughs> but he wouldn't. Or he couldn't. I think it would just be like a lot of work. Has your dad ever oh. killed anybody? Not on purpose. <laughs> and he did serve in Vietnam. Yeah. Oh, Your dad right. served in Vietnam? Yeah. For which Nam. side? <laughs> was he in the shit? <laughs> he was in the Air Force. Was he in the shit? I don't know. That's like a phrase that people say about Vietnam. Yeah. We've said this before. Yeah. We've had oh. this whole interaction. We have? I don't yes. know if you're talking about yeah. Vietnam on Good Influences. Yeah, we did. Yes, we I've did. Also, you and knew then, my dad. And I cracked the joke, was he in the shit? And yeah. you left. And I was probably like, I don't get it. Oh, well, we're out of ideas, guys. Hope you enjoy the show. Um, but in Taken, I think one of the best things that the dad says, though, is when the daughter is like under the bed and she's on the phone with him and he goes, they're going to take you. Yeah. Like. 
it's so I, tough for a dad. Like, I think that was like the best thing he could have told her to like get her in the zone. Yeah, right. it was just such a good line of like, he, he's still, like prepare for what's about to happen. To take you. Because then, I but he's like, but to listen to it. the rest You've of this. You've never seen Taken? <gasps> oh, don't act surprised. No, that one is actually surprising to me. We should have I want to watch it. We should it. have a, a, a Taken night. Like, have a little Taken <gasps> day. Can we watch it right here? <laughs> yeah, and everything is like. We can make food steamed after the bake, movie. We can make <laughs> baked beans. What? Take and bake. Oh, take, take and bake. Take and bake. Take and bake. Take and bake potatoes. <laughs> bake potatoes. Bake beans. Take, take bake and bake. Bake the cake. Bake the cake. Take, take and bacon. Yeah. Well, what is shake and bake? It's like chicken. Shake and bake. That's from yeah. Ricky Bobby. Shake Tell and, and bake. Yeah, oh, but, it's but a that's real also thing. it's like cornbread mix yeah, or something. That you, you put on your chicken. We're getting off track here, guys. The sound of freedom is an important. <laughs> <laughs> kind of also, not that good of a name for a movie it's like about. Like the sound of music. Sound well, I mean, of freedom. Dude, that's part of it too. You put the word freedom exactly. in there, and you know a bunch of rednecks get hard on. Make it something about trafficking. But what's the like, what's... like the silent children or something? Like, <laughs> should I read the description? The silence of the, movie? Of the children. <laughs> yeah, Brady Bunch too. This is. <laughs> what's it called? The, the sound, sound of, of music. Free... Sound, sound of, of freedom. freedom. The Shady Bunch. I also don't get why Anthony <laughs> Robbins posted about it. And Tony Robbins? Yeah, he posted about it on Tony his Instagram. Because he probably got paid to. We're Tony Robbins? Yeah. Oh, that tracks for me. <clears throat> that he's like a nut? Yeah. Uh, I guess so, yeah. How do you mean? Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis, have they posted about this film? Why would they? Because Ashton Kutcher does a lot of work to like help child traffickers. Uh, and I consider them child traffickers. I consider them to help them bring them to justice. Okay, the issue for me is not the movie itself. Like, yes, sure, if it's I based agree. on a true story yeah. and all of these things happened, it's awful, it's terrible. The issue for me is all of these people suggesting that Hollywood elite are, are like, hiding it so that the story doesn't get out. As Hollywood if they're somehow needs to make money. Why would in, they be saying, like, yeah, no to there's something? There's a writer's would... strike. Yeah. I... It's just, like, you're so... I'm surprised that it's doing better than Indiana Jones in the box. Well, yeah, I didn't even know. People. Is Indiana Jones streaming, too? No, I don't yet. think so. Also, mm. I did not know Indiana Jones was out either. So. That's because the liberal media. Yeah. Well, you, we, we live in LA. It's on every billboard. It's like a it. movie. I, I didn't. I truly didn't know that it was out. The only thing I've seen is Barbie yeah. and Oppenheimer are out. Yeah. That's it. And what did we see this morning? <sighs> Asteroid City? Real Housewives of New York. <laughs> oh, yeah. The new, <laughs> new cast. Season. No, you guys should watch it. We can recap. Um, you, you're the definition of like, don't knock it until you try it. You need to not knock it until you try the it. The Real Housewives? Yeah, of New York. The catty alcoholic women of New York? I just like, don't York. think you understand. Like, you should give Vanderpump Rules a try. It's like truly Shakespearean. Dude, don't. Don't what? get into it. Mike is like, you've worked so hard. Like, for what? Uh, for his like, for his mental like. <laughs> what uh, are you saying? Yeah. His state he of his mind. He's like, from a different class. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. What you put, like, Me and are classless. Yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I don't put uh, poopy in my brains. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. Yeah, shove that shit right in there. You've you come poopy. so far. You come so far. I also saw it because of the writer strike. The new season of Euphoria probably won't be out till 2025. I think it said. Ugh. And all the comments are so what funny. What have they though. been doing for the past two years? But the comments are funny. They were like, honestly, just give it up now. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're done. I, I'm not going to know what happened. Yeah. I have to watch all of it all over again. I'm kind of like fine with it being like just gone Same. forever. It's just, it's been so long since. I mean, I do want to know what's happening with the suitcase and Rue, but that's but they all. never, even if they made season three of Euphoria, you will never know about the suitcase you think? in Rue. Think? They wouldn't oh, continue they that? They set that up season one, though, about <laughs> how like Jacob, uh, Beat up that kid. What am I calling him? Nate. Oh, Jake, okay. I'm calling him like Jacob Alordi. My homie. First name basis. Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> I do know Jacob Alordi. You do? Yes. You've met him? Well, let's go through everyone Came on the show. Came up to me. You know personally. Grab me on my chest. It was just like, Matt, how the hell are you, mate? Huh? And Patricia was, was like, Australian? what the fuck? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's always I, jarring when you like hear an accent. I've never heard it. I've never seen an episode of Euphoria. I, I heard him speak, but. Well, I was close to Jacob way before Euphoria, and then he got oh. really famous, but like I hadn't seen him in a long time. And I I kept thinking that that's guy crazy. does not remember me. Yeah, and sure enough, he does. And so that's crazy. Well, he remembers to... you because your class is so high. He yeah. remembers you. Yeah, that's privilege. Well, I hate to break it to you, but reality TV is about to take over our screens because wow. of the oh. writers' strike. No, but there are writers on reality shows. Yeah, but there will be more television. There's that's tons of great reality. movies that are already out in the world. A lot of people haven't watched. Go watch some Carly. great movies. Oh yeah, I have, Taken. I have every movie to catch up on, so. <laughs> have you seen Back to the Future? Taken, Back to the Future. <laughs> you haven't seen Back to the Future? No, but and Nolan really wants me You've to watch. You've never seen it? No. 
No one, <laughs> no one really wants me to see um, The Martian. Huh? Wait, The Martian is great. I know, I want to see that. Especially after the whole, like, <sighs> submersible. It's giving, like, scary... Pull up a, list, space, pull up a but... list of movies. Yeah, pull up the most popular movies. movies yeah, like... of all time. <laughs> and I'll smash or pass if I've seen them or yeah. not. Well, if you pull up the top 250 movies of all time... It's going to be, like, old ones. It's going to be, like, Casablanca and... Dude, some of those, like Lawrence of Arabia, is three hours and 45 minutes long. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who, who has that? I've never, I've well, never that's seen also that. like the Titanic. Have you seen that? Mm -hmm. The Titanic? I finally saw that for the Titanic? Actually... <laughs> Wait. The, the Titanic? Movie, the movie's just Titanic? called Titanic. <laughs> okay. The Titanic? You can't spell Titanic without tit. <laughs> <laughs> Tits McGee. Uh, Tits McGee here live on the scene. The ship's the going down, folks. <laughs> no survivors. Uh, have you seen the Shawshank Redemption? Yes. Okay. Wow. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen The Godfather. I've never seen The Godfather either. I don't Godfather think I have either. either. Have you seen The Dark Knight? That's her smash. That's the only movie she has. I've seen, seen that and I've seen Mulan and I've never seen anything else. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Schindler's List? <clears throat> Sorry, no. <laughs> I have not finished I actually it. think I did in school. You haven't finished Schindler's Dude, List? With... Oh, they did play it oh. in school. I think I saw it in school. Yeah, that's a school film. Uh, Forrest Gump. Yes. I've only seen that once. You watched it recently. I watched it for the first time like a year ago or two. I have it on VHS if you ever want to pop by. I'm, I'm okay. Thanks. Fight Club? No. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Emma's favorite movie of all time. Carly watches Fight Club, her whole personality changes. <laughs> <laughs> what would my personality be? Just like, fuck the world, fuck your credit cards, yeah. I'm going to go beat people up. Project Mayhem. Project Mayhem. Uh, Inception? Yes. The Matrix? <laughs> no. You haven't seen The Matrix? I don't get it. You no, know, Matrix like is fine. It's pretty like, good. I'm not interested in lasers. But I thought with The Matrix, I These saw The Matrix like, the first. first. All, they're all guy movies in the top. Yeah. In the top. Okay, sorry. Have you seen, no, I'm <laughs> saying. Have you seen Aaron Brockovich? Yes. Okay. I watched that also kind of recently on a plane, and I was like, this is Ooh. fucking amazing. Yeah, Aaron Do Brockovich. Do you guys, when you watch movies on planes. Tom Girardi, you I, know how that ties into The Real Housewives? Oh, Tell it, me, does. Aaron. it does. How does it, how does yep. it tie Aaron in? Aaron Brockovich. Tom Girardi was the her lawyer, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yep. And he is married to a well was still is, I don't think they're divorced yet, married to a real housewife. And he is now in jail. Yeah, he committed the, a lot of horrendous. Crimes. When you guys watch movies on planes, I think that there's two types of people. One type of person, you see a movie on a plane, it's the most impactful, you're the most emotionally connected. Like people will cry on planes from movies that they normally wouldn't cry from. Or it's like this is it could be the most beautiful movie of all time, and I just couldn't give a shit about it. Which side do you fall on? I, I okay. sorry. No, no, you go you first. Go. You, go you go first. You go, you go. first. On um, movies, of course, the man goes guys. first. <laughs> oh, wait, I, well, go to your it place. Was a test. Well, his class is higher, so yeah. Sometimes I like really good, like feel good movies. Also, kind of like borderline childish family movies yes. that I normally wouldn't watch on my day to day but when I'm on an airplane like I watched the Nancy Drew movie with Sophia Lillis it's really good and I saw that on a plane and I keep thinking about it huh. I need to so. watch like mindless movies I tried watch watching Marcel the Shell and I oh, remember yeah. I couldn't get through it because Why? I was like I feel like You're I can't tiny. concentrate and it was so small I'm the and same like, way on the plane I'm very like what's going on oh yes. there's someone walking down the an aisle oh I need to that. move the yeah. sheet or I mean, move my seat because like someone's getting out. And so I was like, I can't I feel like I can't enjoy this in the way that everyone else has been enjoying it. And I've never finished it. But I was like, I don't get it. But like, if you do you know what I'm talking about? That some people will be crying on the plane at movies because they just there's yeah. something about like being in the air with like the less oxygen and like, yes, your emotions are just attuned. And like, I know I don't get that, but I've never met. So I've seen it like on the Internet where people talk about it. Yes. I'll cry on the air an airplane watching a movie, but like I also cry at well, home you'll watching cry a movie. Oh, okay. with the Bloody Mary as well. <laughs> yeah, Bloody Marys apparently taste better on at higher altitudes. That's why it's a common airplane drink because your sense of taste is enhanced. No, it's at a dull. high altitude. It's dull. Also, what are you talking about? Your sense. Of, that's why airplane food tastes like shit. Is because when you're in the air with less oxygen and the fucking cabin pressure, things taste worse. False. <laughs> False, Mike. I the taste of things are enhanced when you are at a high altitude. That's why yes, the airplane so good. The airplane food sucks because it's just airplane food. But your sweet, sense of salty and sweet. Are is... you not sitting in first class? I actually <laughs> did for the first time on my way back. How was it? So fucking. Sick. Was it you like a lay down or just like regular? It was a lay flat. Nice. Delta one. Uh, United. 
oh, Polaris. The best Ooh. is a lay down. Oh my I, God. I did down. fall asleep and the guy was also next. It was like it wasn't like the first class, like the individual dividers. Sure. It was a bit of an older one. So my seat was actually backwards. What? Yeah. Like, so my seat was like this and the pilot was like behind me. And when I laid down, my head was like to the what? front of the plane. Yeah. United oh. has like, it's like facing front they and like back. Like every other? Yeah. Oh, that's like what it was like on Ted Lasso. And I remember being like, that's really weird. Um, And the guy drank a bunch of wine next to me and he fell asleep with his mouth open and was just breathing <laughs> wine breath onto oh. me the entire flight. And I was just like, oh, can I get a refund? Oh, no, God. <laughs> but the only reason I did it is because it was only like $300 more than a regular ticket. I don't know why. Normally it's like $1,500. For a, you know, one way, but it was 300 bucks yeah. and I paid oh. with points. So oh, worth it. Nice. Yeah. Especially a Hell long flight yeah. like that. <clears throat> what was your meal? Oh my God, it was so fucking oh. good. Three cheese ravioli <gasps> yeah. uh, with a nice side salad and a balsamic vinaigrette. Oh and then a scoop of unbelievable vanilla ice cream for dessert. Uh -huh. This episode is sponsored by Ghostbed. This Labor Day, get ready to sleep in comfort and style with Ghostbed's incredible sale. As the temperatures rise, there is no better time to invest in a cooling mattress that will keep you refreshed and rejuvenated all summer long. Especially here in LA, it gets so hot. It's already hot. It's 11 a.m. and it's like 90 degrees, so that's fun. Ghostbed is renowned for their signature and patented cooling materials, so you can say goodbye to sweaty nights and hello to uninterrupted, blissful sleep. But the benefits don't stop there. Ghostbed is a family-owned business with over 20 years of expertise in crafting the most supportive and high-quality mattresses. They never cut corners when it comes to providing you with the sleep that you deserve. And now, during their Labor Day sale, you can save big on your dream mattress. Don't miss out on these incredible discounts. Ghostbed offers a 101 day sleep trial. So you can try their mattress risk free. Plus most products shipped within 24 hours so you'll be sleeping cool in no time. And if you need guidance, Ghostbed has a team of sleep experts that is ready to assist you in finding the perfect mattress for your needs. They'll help you choose the ideal cooling technology and comfort level, ensuring a personalized sleep experience. Don't let this Labor Day pass you by without taking advantage of Ghostbed's amazing sale. Visit ghostbed.com slash good tip. Today. I uh, one time I was leaving LA and I had John and Vinny's was oh my, my meal. God, I literally was like, huh? Matt. Okay. Back According track. to a group of Cornell-based researchers, tomato juice tastes better up in the air. The reason is the noise level on an airplane influences our perceptions of taste. In a study, according to this journal of psychology, 48 participants were sampled a range of tomato juices. Some were sweeter, while some were more salty or bitter. During this session, the noise level was steadily increased and participants were asked to rate the intensity of each flavor. The noise used the environment the more difficulty people had detecting sweet flavors. Savory flavors, however, including tomatoes, earthy umami taste. Umami. Umami. Idiot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're easier wow. to pick up. So savory flavors. I couldn't say utilitarian. Oh, God. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Well, that's a slay. I will say I l prefer the taste of ginger ale in the air than on Earth. I think that's the only place anyone drinks it's ginger ale. It's so is on good. Plane. No, I drink it at home. Oh, There's okay. so much sugar in a ginger ale. I don't care. Don't rain on our goddamn parade. <laughs> oh, I have an interesting fact. Did you know that? This there's science behind why McDonald's Coke is so much better than any other yes. place. Yes, oh, the already science? Know. Um, the way they ship it is different, isn't it? Um, so most sodas go into that plastic bag, you know, in the back of restaurants where you see all those sodas going to plastic bag. It's like the bag. syrup that gets mixed with the water. Coca Cola and McDonald's, or my, McDonald's tries to uphold Coca Cola's standard of it coming in a what almost like a silver. It's like a titanium, vat, like titanium vat container and so, submersible. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, pretty much a Coca-Cola gate size yeah. thing of Coca-Cola, and that's why it um, comes out really, really yeah, nice. Yeah, and the, the size Money. of the straw is also bigger. It's bigger, so it has something to do with like your taste buds, and it'll hit more of your tongue. Have you ever had one of those? I've never had a Coca-Cola from McDonald's. <gasps> Well, I just had one this morning. Put on your bucket this list. This morning? Yeah. Oh, oh. A Coke from McDonald's at 8 a.m.? You know what? Yeah, that's... Are you okay? Is everything Hold okay on. with your patrol? Don't judge. No, I'm not. It's well, just funny. No, because cause it's I the know. only thing... I realized yeah, I was yeah. driving here. I realized I didn't get had breakfast at all, and I was like oh. so hungry. So let me get a Coca-Cola from McDonald's. <laughs> Buddy, I just listened to the Joe Rogan episode with him and Tom Segura, and they're talking about it. And That's I'm what thinking, I heard it too. <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, damn, that sounds kind of yummy. And I'm like, how often am I going to McDonald's to get a Coke? Yeah. And I'm like, treat myself. I'm going to London tomorrow. My parents always told me that. Oh, fun. My parents always told me that 
if you drink soda in the morning, you'll get stomach ulcers. <laughs> Was that like a thing to just have I th- you? I, now that I'm coming up with this, I'm thinking that it's they like, just made it's that a up. Lie. It's like um, <laughs> the water boy. What? My mama, How she's always my mama like, mama said. always says, because she was like... Oh, yeah. My mama I have it. seen also there's a TikTok sound of like a fake police officer, and parents will use it to scare their kids, where it's like, <laughs> yes, this is the sheriff's department, kid kid division, and what is he misbehaving about? No. Yes, we're going to send an officer if he doesn't start behaving, and it's like the voice of... So, and, the, and it's like videos of kids hysterically like, crying, <gasps> losing their minds. It's like... Because the, I think the cops are going to come get them. Taking Santa's not going to give you gifts to yes, the next yes. yeah. Damn. Changing topics. I saw a study that says single men in America only change their bed sheets four times a year. That's fucking disgusting. How, yeah. often, yeah. how often do you guys change your bed sheets? Probably Since like once put, a week. Once, maybe two weeks if it goes that long. But and yeah. it's been like this for a while? Yeah. Okay. Yes. I mean, once a week, once every two weeks. Yes, Aaron? same. Matt? For yeah, once a week. Before you were dating, we were living with Patricia. No, and even before that, once a week until because I had a I had a cleaning, cleaning lady. If you didn't have a the, cleaning lady, class. Um, His class. That's why. Probably once a month. Wait, probably wait. once every three months. Say that again. Once a month. That's maybe. currently. No, oh. it's once a week now. But sometimes, like Patricia, I swear it's like the sheets are getting changed every day, and I'm like, can we just like go? It's okay, two weeks. You don't need to. Clean I have the something sheets. to confess though. What. If I didn't change my sheets for like a year, I probably wouldn't know the difference. <laughs> like it would not bother me. No, and you, I know you that's would gross. start to notice after like two or three weeks, you would feel a difference. You think? A hundred percent. Because I feel like when we lived in our old apartment, like I was barely washing my sheets. Yeah. I'm like, how often are you cleaning your sheets, Mike? I'm doing it every week. And your towels? Towels, towels like every two weeks. Oh, I do. I can. I can. I can. I'm. Sometimes I'll, when I go in people's house and you use the ba- their like bathroom and you can smell. Their oh, towels. Damp towels. Towel? I'm not saying go up and smell them, but I can <laughs> yeah. smell a dirty towel from a mile away. <laughs> if I'm standing there what peeing in your house and I can smell shit off your towels, I'm judging. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like nasty. Yeah. You nasty. How often do you wash the towel that you use when you get out of the shower? That's what we're talking about. Oh, well, oh, I get a new one every week. Oh, so I'm always sweet. Well, I don't know. I don't really shower at my house anymore. Huh? Oh, at the, oh, gym. the gym. I shower at the oh. gym now, which is just so great because I'm like... I only get to shower in my at Patricia or our place two days out of the week if I'm working out every day, which is great. My thing is, OK, I'm only using it when I'm clean. That is the point. It's like yes. I use it when I'm clean and then I'll hang it up and I'll probably use it again. But it's like when, clean, sure, it's like when you use a Carly. face towel for your face, like you should change that every couple days because it's like all this stuff. It's, a, it's mold. There's like moisture, yeah. and even though it gets dry. How about creates... don't go to my house and smell my towels? <laughs> I don't think they smell though, because we're pretty. I, I know, but I can. I don't know. I, I know kids. I, oh, I knew on, like a kid in college that I lived with. He didn't change his sheets the entire semester. Like oh he put his sheets on the bed at the beginning of the year, and then didn't change it till the end. And I'm like disgusting. Was so, he like having sex? I I mean yeah, yeah probably, like probably jacking off in it too. Yeah, that's well, I will sick. say. I feel like a little bit more of a pass here in college because first, yes, it's a lot of goddamn work changing sheets. Yes, and, and doing, doing laundry, doing the laundry. About but that. I'm yeah. saying now, like post college, like the study came out that single men post college only change their sheets basically once a quarter, once That's every three crazy. months. Can I clarify something about me? Like, if your towels stink, <laughs> yes. I'm judging you. Listen, I understand there's a lot of difficulties people are having in their day to day life. I don't want to make it seem like Matt that I'm a judgmental a person, and certainly I'm not walking out after going your towel. Towels stink. I'm no. not telling people your towels stink. <laughs> Just sometimes. You told me that on my old apartment once. <laughs> that your towels stunk? Yeah. I sure did, because I'm well, also I'm a friend. You know, I, I know, I'd I know. let you know if you're having girls over, they would smell. I, I totally get it. Um, I And I have bought, I think I have like four sets of bed sheets now. I used to only have one set of bed sheets, and it was just like, God damn it. Like, you you have to do it. You, yeah. you have to wait. Yeah, well, you and like, you can't go to sleep until your laundry's yeah. done, but now I'm just like, I only have to do my laundry like once every three weeks with the with all the bed sheets. What kind of sheets do we have? Uh, white, always white no, sheets. No, like the brand. What's the oh. brand that just sent us the sheets? Patricia and I just put them on last night. Ghost oh. bed? No. We should oh. shut them out. <laughs> That's not parachute, right? No. Fuck. 
Is it ghost pen? I no. didn't get that. Miracle, Miracle Maid. Miracle Maid. Oh, we got the blue Miracle Maid sheets, and we got the blue ones. We we feel like we're like a couple in the nineties, like <laughs> going to bed. It's just this like it's I have so had true. white sheets for all the years. I haven't slept in like a different color, and, like, and I was like, what is this? It's like, so like, like a, a Spider Man bed. Yeah. <laughs> like my parents had like maroon sheets or gold sheets. Like it's such yeah. a like. Navy thing. blue though, big red flag. Fellas out there, navy blue don't get navy blue sheets. Why? Why? It just screams I'm in college and have no That's taste true. and I'm like a frat I think boy. a plaid bed screams, screams oh. I'm in college or like and I still live at home with my parents. Comforter. Yes, the striped comforters. I wish like, like I get like a like a Buzz Lightyear comforter though. Dude, I know. <laughs> Toy Story <laughs> comforter. I know. You should get a like a Buzz Light bed. <laughs> Or you like know, a little character. There's bed. like really I had, funny. I had, Wait, so I had have... Ninja Turtle ones as a kid, and I hated it because they had pizza in the the, yeah, the, in the cartoon. Design. And I remember as a kid, I'd be so like hungry going to bed. And I'd be like, <laughs> Damn, looks pizza. 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 <laughs> pizza looks so good. I'd just be there <laughs> looking, <laughs> looking at my bed sheets, <laughs> thinking about pizza. <laughs> so you just have four sets of white sheets. Yes. Wow. All from different brands, I think. And there, and there are some that are like definitely better than others. Yeah, I have like a so I have two I have two sets of linen sheets. Oh, that's nice. And then I have one set that's like sateen is what it's called. I think it's like fake satin. I don't know. But yeah. then I have one that's like a heathered cashmere. And those are my favorite. And it's so hard because like we have so many. So no, it's obviously you... like you change them, but I'm like, no, but I want to get back into the Heathered Cashmere. I think the, the play is you just got to buy four of the one I that know. you like. Sheets are so fucking expensive though. I know. Do you guys like pillows? My pillow has to be this then. <gasps> I, like, I have a pillow, pillow that is this thin. I, my what pillow, I my pillow needs to be this. I slept at a hotel and I was like oh. this, but it wasn't like actually it was an airbnb i was staying in and i was just like this Did is the most perfect out? i took it all yeah. out and then it, the label was gone but i was like <laughs> she's going right <laughs> oh i'll send it to you um i, I need a pillow a to be thick as fuck and not <laughs> compress that is like when you when it, like what? hard like, yeah like stiff? not yeah basically memory like memory foam vibe not memory foam like like this no absolutely not. what is the purpose of having a hurt? pillow that when you put your head on it it flattens it may as well not use a pillow at all what's the point of a thin pillow well, it can flatten a little bit okay. to get a little comfy i know what you mean uh, if mike it's, if it's any thicker than this that's my crazy. neck hurts that's like a, uh, thin as a blanket my, literally i'll show you you're have, gonna die seeing what it looks like i want to sleep on a bean bag like i will <laughs> the oh, thicker no. the better yeah like this is pretty much how thin. Been... Get out of here. <laughs> Two pack feather Get and down bed pillows. No, that she... is not. Yes. Yes. Carly, you sleep on three tissues on top of. <laughs> I just have to have a thin pillow. It hurts my neck Since so bad. Not a... That's, that's like a pillow. That's a, that's a placemat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So be it, bitch. Literally. It's comfy for me. Wow. Yeah, Patricia or... doesn't even use a pillow. She just like raw dogs like. What? The... Like, that can't be good for your I neck. Know. Neither can thick pillows because your neck's like so far over your spine. Yeah. I feel like the thin one's perfect. You're just good like good point. That right it probably is not good for her neck, yeah, and that's why like she this. probably has like yeah. a sore back. Yeah. Good point, Aaron. Did you guys have you ever slept on a waterbed? Yes, <laughs> my aunt had one. <laughs> really? It's such a creepy idea. It's a so waterbed. Weird. There was a family. How do you I knew... have sex in it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There was a family I knew growing up, they all had water beds. Like the whole, <laughs> all three kids, the parents, Rich. all had water beds. And I thought it was like kind of normal. And then as I got older, I'm like, <laughs> nobody has them. Yeah, I feel like it's really outdated. I bet the kids like loved the parents' water beds. So then they were forced to give all can of their children water beds. Can you jump on a water bed beds. or will it pop? Oh, you might, I think you, you can, can jump break a an ankle <laughs> jumping on a water bed, man. You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I just watched really the weird. how it's made about the water, a water bed, actually. What if you had acid reflex going to bed like on a water oh. bed? I feel like you would I would just... get seasick. <laughs> seasick. Yeah, I would. Are you an earthquake wanna... happens? Yeah, and like I feel like it must be so hard to maintain. Yeah, like do you have to change out the water? <laughs> What's I the would vibe? think so. Uh, are you kidding? No. <laughs> Change yeah. out the water. How often? Do, you, do they so have like, like first a little, wash your veggies like, and change out the water? Week. A little chlorine floater in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hose sucking out the water. Yeah. And like, and I would. I think I would have nightmares that it would like split open and like yeah. I would drown or something. Yeah. Oh, like especially be... if children have them. It seems like a terrible idea. I and then asked... if it pops, your whole floor is ruined. Yeah. I looked it's up TikToks of that actually. It's not gonna pop. It is so tough. The material. It does. It just seems like a terrible fucking idea. I looked up TikToks recently. Well, probably within the last year because I was like, what 
Like, I'm sure somebody has filmed their waterbed leaking everywhere or something. Yeah. And I found a bunch. And I'm just like, fuck that. Whoa. What a nightmare. I wonder if they'll come back. Yeah, like, I wonder if people still get them. Yeah, probably. I'm sure some people There's out there. selling them. There's, like, a bar in, uh, in New York City that has, like, a waterbed inside the bar. And you can go, like, sit at and, like, lay on it oh, and stuff, which is kind of, like, cool. Like, and your dog on a waterbed? <laughs> How do you fill it up? You have to get a, a hose, hose into your hose. room, but yeah. into your bedroom. Yeah, hoses just, and bedrooms are far wind, apart. It just goes through the window. It's a hose, Mike. Yeah, but who has a? No, what if most, you're like an apartment? Most yeah. hoses can. Or like if a it's massive house. house. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, I mean, most hoses do not reach far enough away from the spigot to get into a house, like a bedroom. Yeah. Or like, what if you're in an apartment on like the tenth floor? Well, yeah. then maybe you shouldn't be getting a water bed. <laughs> well, I think there are also water, there's like sink hoses that you can adapt to your sink. Oh. Okay, that's fair, I guess takes so long what a dumb <laughs> do they make water it shoes just, it where you like step it on water that would Should be like a waterbed nice. facts <laughs> yeah waterbed facts i bet they because they're bed oh it just looks oh it looks like do you remember in the goofy movie where like nope <laughs> you never seen the goofy movie no Waterbeds date back as far as 3600 BC <laughs> and were first used by Persians who filled goat skin with water. In the 1800s, waterbeds were rubber pockets filled with water and primarily used in hospitals because they didn't cause bed sores and ulcers as other mattresses did. Oh, yeah. Maybe I need one because I'm in bed so much. Because they're constantly moving around so you yeah. don't like. Are you shopping for one right now? No, I just. Uh, I think I she wants to see, see people like, sell them. selling them. Can you buy them still? I'll like on Amazon. <laughs> water bed. Should I put one in my guest room? <laughs> Do not buy a water bed, Carly. Absolutely <laughs> my not. My cat's claws. Waveless. Wayfair has one for two grand. Two grand? That is... King. It's a king size bed. Oh, okay. It's still kind of crazy because it's you're buying for. just a big bag that you're going to fill up with water. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just, they're just charging you a big balloon. Do you need a mattress? I think, or what do you do when you have to move? How do you get it out? You drain, drain it, it, probably. You drain yeah. it. But where? And you, you siphon it out, and then it goes outside. You drink it. Water you have to drink that. <laughs> oh, that's kind of fun. How, where's that's the a leg? funny idea. You can plug in like a straw in case you get thirsty in the middle of the <laughs> night. <laughs> Carly, like this would be your bed. Danny literally has sent me that. Yeah, it's it looks so... like you. <laughs> what do you mean? It does look like a Carly. This looks like. In it, what it, sense it, does that look like it, me? It, that looks like a bed you would have. Like that's Why? Like you, you just roll because over. Because you from just the... are in bed all day, and yeah. it's like you can. But that do doesn't like my. It's like a right? workstation. Like sort it's, of. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like you're like, oh, it's TikTok time. Let me roll over, <laughs> <laughs> roll over to my recliner. Let me go to my seat to watch TV now. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind everything. of a play. There's like a little editing table. It's so ugly. Though. So you. We should, Carly, well, let's all pitch in and buy for Carly's birthday. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it in the guest room and that can be like my room. It's on sale for 3000 All right, we'll put on the company card. Is that cool, can Mike? you can you do a 3D model of it like in the in room? room. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see like how it would look. I just want to have it, it in my room three for stars. Uh -oh. It said, unfortunately, the product was not worth the wait. This person gave it one star. Stay away. <laughs> Ordered in August. Finally received end of November. Several delays. Missing in unreadable instructions. Leather <laughs> is of terrible quality. <laughs> Wrinkles all over the product. Chinese writing on the massage chair. <laughs> what? Okay. The massage chair just does variable vibrations and does not actually have rotating massaging knobs. Wow. Okay, this person... This is seems, way fair. Yeah. Their class is way higher than mine. <laughs> so... Remember that conspiracy that Wayfair was also like doing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The director of Sound of Freedom was a no. Wayfair conspiracy oh, that's, theorist. Okay. That's aye, another aye, thing aye, that aye, I was aye, like, aye. what? I mean, but it is a little strange. Did you know today is National French Fry Day? I did. Get really? out of here. I did know. Why didn't you say something earlier? Did you... you didn't even get any fries this morning oh, at Mickey D's. Did you get a uh, free Slurpee at 7-Eleven? No. No. You no, know what? If I was in the girl. suburbs, I totally would. I'm but just, I drove I'm, out, through the I'm out in the thick of West Hollywood. I'm not trusting a free dispenser. Like, What do you think is going to happen? It's, it's a just, class there's thing. A lot, yeah. There's just a lot Only of people Hamptons. walking around West Hollywood and knowing that there's <laughs> a dispenser, I'm going to have to go put my mouth on that's been given a bunch you of people. You don't have to put your mouth on a dispenser. What are you... Uh, you buddy, don't put your... I bet somebody in West Hollywood already like... Uh, what? 
Rub a little Is that dirt wrong? It. It's just bizarre. The, no, that. I didn't get I didn't get a free Slurpee. Okay, okay. I was an intern for 7-Eleven, okay? Oh, yeah. You did remember you they removed the in? water fountain out there, too? They did? Yeah. They what? <gasps> they removed our water fountain. Get out of here. And I saw the pipe, and the inside did of the pipe you, is all did brown you use and gross. It? No. Oh. A bubbler. There's just a lot of changes happening around here. I New know. stairs. So scary. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is the same. Nothing was the same. What is that? What album is that? Nothing was the same. Oh my gosh. Nothing I know was the don't... same. No, 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 no. Nothing Paramore? Was, no, no, no. Nothing was the same. It's not... I'm, I won't say it to you. No, nothing was ever the same. Yeah. 1975. Is it? No, mm. it's not. Oh, it's Drake. Nothing was the same. Oh, Drake damn. is so cringy. Have you seen his like memes <laughs> no. of him walking oh, out from it? Drake's the kind of guy who will say, oh, gee, Willikers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, it's chilly in here. And Drake's the kind of guy who'd be making, a, doing a science experiment saying, fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> Neato, gang. Yeah, there's like a clip of him, I think for his concert, he was like walking out and he's looking all like cool guy and like looking around and all the comments were like, me after two drinks entering the club, <laughs> just like looking around. Oh, Fuck, Drake. yeah, I'm so fucking cool. Yeah, he just cringes me out a little bit. Also, his post with the fake Taylor Swift. I thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, but I was like, what? I think he was just, be I think he was making a joke because he knew yeah, it I wasn't know. her. I know. Are him and Corinna dating? Drake? No, he just posted what? her on his Instagram. He did? Yeah. Why? He like, wasn't Corinna wearing like a piece of jewelry and Drake was wearing the same piece of jewelry like the next day? I'm not that deep in the rabbit hole, mostly. but I don't know. Couldn't we ask? <laughs> I, I don't think... Uh, she, Are you dating Drake? LOL. Uh, they. I should. I'll text Corinna right now. They do, actually know the last thing I text Corinna goes. I text her. Do you want to come to my wedding or our wedding? Oh. She didn't respond. <gasps> Guess she doesn't want to come. Yeah. Well, this is a weird way to invite someone to your wedding. Yeah. The Drake thing is that they both do campaigns for some sports betting company, like a gambling thing. And he was doing a deal for the gambling thing and like just tagged her in his caption. Like unbeknownst to her, I think. What I don't did he know. say like I wanna lick your toes or something? Okay. I don't know. Wasn't that what he said? <laughs> I don't know. Wasn't what he said? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm like I'm like I'm like adjacent to this. Drake I don't know. Posting that on Instagram is I so wanna funny. lick your toes. Yeah. I know that he tagged oh. her in a caption and that's like the extent of it. <laughs> I don't know about jewelry, Mysterio. Drake offers Instagram model foot massage during flirty exchange. He said that Drake said, I might massage Corinna Comp's feet live on air. You just never know. Tune in. He said that. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> I got that. I wrong. mean, maybe they planned it to like create some buzz for the campaign. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. That's crazy. I'll ask Drake. Let me let me text him yeah, right okay, now. Yeah, FaceTime him. Please. He's coming to my shop to hear this. It seems Aubrey. Now I call him Jimmy. Drake. Jimmy. Jimmy from, oh, from Degrassi. You know he's half Jewish. <laughs> <In a> wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh Jimmy <laughs> from Degrassi. He was in a wheelchair in Degrassi. Yeah. Well, he, got he gets shot. put in a wheelchair. School the school shooting. shooting episode. They were really ahead of their time, and it was in Canada where there's like really no gun violence. You so. remind me of a lot of characters on Degrassi. Uh -huh. <laughs> like who? <laughs> I've never read like that. JT, like uh, I, people, you guys watch Degrassi? No, Liberty. He's very he's <laughs> Liberty. A, he's Liberty vibes. The smartness of it all. I've never. Or I, Marco. Degrassi was like for the <laughs> I fucking don't remember losers Marco. when I was growing Marco up. Was the you were watching Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, that's for the fucking cool kids. <laughs> no, Degrassi was I really cool. All, it's all relative. No, yeah. I'm gonna. It's all on the same spectrum. For like you're on. <laughs> oh my god. I love. I had um. Like, what what was the channel like noggin or something like yeah. that? Oh, I love that channel. Yeah. Noggin or, or the you're making N. fun of it. I'm the kidding. N. Oh. They the had some good shows. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Hey, Aaron on that Ghost Rider? What you know about Ghost Rider? I <laughs> love Ghost it was Rider. So good. Ghost Rider with those kids. I always watched that channel before Matt, school. did you ever go outside or were you just in front of a TV <laughs> for your entire the TV a lot? You know every single show from the 90s. It's I'm pretty close. It's weird if there's a show I don't know. So weird. So weird. You want best. to talk about so weird. Also, the mom in so weird, I learned, is the little girl who was in American Graffiti, the one who drives around with Harrison Ford and that oh. truck. But the Ghost musician. Rider. Do you I remember the, it per school. The, the purple yeah, the, like, monster? Spirit. <laughs> yeah, 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 Grimace? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I love I'm sad we never tried the watch? drink. I, I watched like three things. It was like Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Rocket Jeopardy. Power, New Jews on the Block. Oh, Rocket Power, New <laughs> Jews on the Block. Oh, Rocket like, Power I was loved, good. I loved so much tea. I would watch Nick at Night. I would oh, watch yes. all those shows like Happy oh, Days, Different Laverne Strokes, and Shirley, Mash. <laughs> Just oh, I hated Mash. The TV. Well, no, I did a lot of stuff outside what too. What else were we supposed to do? I don't know. Go ride your bike. Go skateboarding. Jump on a roof. You can do it all. Explore you can have it all. Explore an abandoned building. Yeah, I feel like I did all that actually, and I watch a lot of TV. Yeah. yeah, there are no phones, so like TV or outside, you did both. Yeah, like you'd come in from outside and watch TV. I used to go on AOL Instant Messenger a lot and go into like chat rooms. Yeah, but, like, ASL. Before, before that, <laughs> what um, would you do in the, the chat room? I would just like, oh, you're from Texas. Whoa, what's that like? <laughs> would you try cyber sexing? No, no, no. Yeah, no. you did. When I was you're, nine, you're yeah. so the time. <laughs> Home alone. Or Wasn't just, like one of those categories. Alone at home. Like you would never watch like, like Jerry Springer. I was also like doing. <laughs> I like learned how to program, and I, you can make like programs. So I made a Dragon Ball Z trivia quiz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> got, yeah, that, but they're the nerds for watching. <laughs> <laughs> which Dragon Ball it does be, Piccolo get when he battles yeah, Vegeta? Like, is Goku Come a Super on. Saiyan Y or N? And then if you type Y, it's correct, and then you would get a point. That was pretty good. Yeah, I was like yeah, building logic pretty... in. Well, they were learning about really important <laughs> C++ things on. And burning CDs. On I was really into burning um, CDs. Me too. Oh, well, Why yeah, of course. I think of the name of the show. Degrassi? Yes, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. Um, do you guys think that it's better to read books by people who have killed themselves or who have not killed themselves? Do you think I what? think it's better to read books like Sylvia Plath, like, David Foster Wallace? I don't Wallace. want to read. I feel like we've talked about this. Yeah, you've you've seen you've said this so many times. Oh, okay. It just came you up the other day in a conversation. Oh, you think it's oh reading a book he by said, somebody who has unalive suicide? Unalive. Su get, get Sorry, yeah. It. Hank Green kind of switched it back up on me. So did he? Yeah, he talked about. It. He's like, why are we saying unalive? I think I because on TikTok, if you say death or suicide yeah. it gets like whatever Wagged. so i think pe that's why people started saying it i know but i think they've switched it up where you the can't woke say mob sound of freedom go we shouldn't be able to talk about suicide because it's a real thing but you think just because someone killed themselves their their whole work of art is now meaningless i'm just not interested in it because that means to me that they didn't figure it out so like why oh, am i like a self-help book or anything by them not like even their, like a, their worldview like a fiction novel you'd be like oh they killed themselves oh, so nirvana done listening to that music yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Does the same well, go, he was murdered. Does the same wow. go for like TV and movies? Anthony Bourdain. This is not really yeah. a fully fledged. Anthony Bourdain, Kitchen Philip Confidential. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Books. Anthony Bourdain is iconic. I do have a theory about Anthony Bourdain that he didn't purposely kill himself. Here we go. What's I the, think he might have the done the, uh, the old... Oh, a little erotic you think? Yeah. asphyxiation. You know, he had like a... Did he have depression or something? Yeah. Eh. I remember, like, when the first article came out, it said that his friend You're found him in the bathroom. You're just using this as an excuse so that you can continue watching his show. Sure am. <laughs> sure no, am. No, that's a good what point. A weird thing. Yeah, I think that's really weird. I know, it is a little weird. Say something like that. I, I feel like this is a safe me, space for me to explore like, my ideas. Sure, but, like, for, okay, yeah. Yes. Um, Thank you. I won't discount that. However, it is kind of weird. Um, I think, to me, it's more like you see this these people's art and, like, how they express themselves and not know... Maybe I feel like for the most part, when people a lot of the times commit suicide, like a lot of people don't know that they're suffering. And it's like, mm -hmm. wow, they did all of this when they were struggling so much. And like we get this art from it. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Have you watched his documentary? Yeah, I love yeah. Anthony Bourdain. Mm -hmm. it's good. But I don't think he but hate himself. Sylvia Plath. <laughs> well, I mean, dude, that's just like. <laughs> you want to talk about Sylvia Plath? Yeah. Talk about the bell jar? I mean, I, don't, I just don't want to read it because I'm like this woman. How about you listen to it? Maggie Gyllenhaal does the uh, audiobook on oh. Audible, and Maggie Gyllenhaal does a great job. She's it's a very so depressing listen, but Maggie Gyllenhaal does add a little bit of a little spice. Bit of spice. I love Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yeah, speaking of the dark night, you've seen Mona Lisa smile. I I definitely have, but not. I don't. Julia remember. Stiles, it was Kirsten always Dunst, on TV. Maggie Gyllenhaal, that cute little. Mousy looking girl. What's her name? <laughs> Maggie Gyllenhaal. No, the other one. Who? Uh, anyways, uh, she's like an art history teacher, and she goes to like a woman's college, and it's like the fifties, really and all the women just are there to find husbands. They're not really like that interested in like getting deep about art. And Jul and Julia Roberts teaches the women to like look at art and 
have meaning or make sense of it, make opinions for yourself, gets them out of that I 50s that. wife mold. <laughs> it's just a good little flick. I'm yeah. surprised that you're in support of that class being women taught liberation. To women. <laughs> what do you what do you <laughs> No. I just, I really I like Julia Roberts a lot too. She I mean that sounds like a phenomenal cast. Yeah, it is. Wow. It is. I women. Women Mona Lisa STEM. smile. <laughs> I think Do you guys get the STEM section yes. on TikTok? Yeah. What science, technology, education, and math? Yeah, it's like yeah, STEM. it's like it's like for what? you, it's like following for you page, and then STEM, and it's actually like I'll get oh, lost I on it. Stands it. for slutty titties eating melons. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you see on there? That's crazy. Slutty titties eating. Melons. I try to come up with something as quickly as possible. <laughs> I would say slippery. I think they only put it on people's page who they know are smart. Yeah, and will yeah comprehend it. Oh, yeah, so shut up. The- now I'm like, <laughs> actually, I don't know. It's actually pretty interesting. Like, I'll scroll through and it's like, oh, I didn't know that. Nope. Carly's TikTok? Oh, he doesn't have it. Dumb, dumb. Dumbass. Do you? Probably. I think well, I why do. Don't, why don't we uh, fact check? Okay. I have to I have to uh, turn off an opal so I can view TikTok. <laughs> There's just a star Like, the David first one's about for... a turtle. Yeah. It's really educational. But I just feel like they probably think you guys are able lot to of, comprehend. See, a lot of my feed is that stuff, though. So uh, okay, I don't. Oh, you don't have like, it either. They go, they, like, the feed realizes you guys watch so much reality TV. They're like, we need to give them this. <laughs> or or Honestly, maybe. they just put it on women. <laughs> yeah. No, I've I've definitely seen it before, and now it's not there. But I've seen it. They're like, well, he's learned enough. He graduated. Yeah, yeah. I'm fucking smart. They know. We've seen his Google searches. Yeah, he's smart. <laughs> We Did, know he made a Dragon Ball Z <laughs> code. Digimon, Digimon code. Super Saiyan? <laughs> it wasn't like that. Well, wrong. What is this? He's actually. What did this, this movement come from? Like, like I know cosplaying it's cosplaying yeah. people who like will dress up. They, a bit, no, I think cosplaying is cool. I don't like it, what. Like, sh- have you guys ever seen people yeah, warping is, in real life? It brings him joy. Oh. Cosplaying's a hobby. Yes, it can be kind of cringy, and there's weird people out there who dress up, but I'm not going to rain on someone's parade. I'm not going to rain on their parade either. Him. I just don't get it. What is... Th- they're, pl- they're, pl- they're doing Halloween but you're dressed- every day. <laughs> they're playing that house. Kinda, but it sounds kind of fun. But you're dressed up. Now what? <laughs> you make it fun TikTok, and you do a transition, and you do some lines. Have people play pretend. Why not? I, yeah, it's I, like when you were a kid and you played with Barbies and made up their yeah, lives, but now you're house. in costume and you can do it. I mean, I was writing code in C++. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't know. I was watching no movies. I'm not going to rain on their parade. I just don't get it. Like, do they act, <laughs> like when they get together, are they like acting? Uh, we should, go to, we should go to Comic-Con. What's oh, this weekend? To. Next oh, weekend. Oh, yeah, it is. It's next weekend. It in is. LA? San Diego. <laughs> I thought there's a brand happen. out there who wants to send us a Comic Con, please. We would love <laughs> well, to go. This will come out way after. Who would, we, who would we cosplay as? We gotta, we gotta do Ooh. something. The Ninja Turtles? No. I don't even know. Yeah, I know. This is you beyond my. I mean? we, we should do like a sitcom. Seinfeld. <gasps> I don't know. Up, or we could be Uncle Jesse and uh, we could be the uncles on Full House and you guys could be the twins. Yeah, I don't know. No. Mary Kate and Ashley. No, maybe not. That was a bad idea. Why would you say that? Sorry, stupid, <laughs> yeah, stupid, fuck? stupid. How? What's wrong with you? I can't think. I'm hungry. Oh, uh, <laughs> housewives? <sighs> it's not, that's not like no, giving bra- Comic Con. Like Lord of the, it's, it's like Lord of the Rings too... or like. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the Dark Knight. We could do a two, yeah, two Scooby Doo. We just do that again. Oh, oh yeah, that. we have done that. That was a great. I'm trying to think of the for better help. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so funny. mental health. health. <laughs> just full Scooby Doo. <laughs> can't think of a my foursome. stupid pig. <laughs> oh, eleven, eleven. Make a wish. I wish that. We just made a moment of that. Do you always like sneak in one at the end? <laughs> you always catch the clock. It's 11 11. Now you want to talk. That's Taylor Swift lyrics. You always be my Is that Taylor Swift lyrics? No, it's not. I always would eat lunch around this time in elementary school. At 11 a.m.? Dude, I know. First Because I always remember like <laughs> oh, looking first at lunch the, was the eating lunch as a kid going, it's 11 11. Oh, third lunch wish. is like torture. Torture. That's, yeah. And it's sh- the shortest. Yep. Well, middle lunch was the shortest, I think. Yeah, from, I heard my about school. that. What are you guys in I prison? What are you talking lunch. about? <laughs> we had you first lunch, middle lunch, or third lunch. Oh, I called it second lunch. Or second lunch, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I was in prison. 
<laughs> Middle lunch is the best. <laughs> yeah. It's a short lunch. Oh, yeah. It sounds like you guys are like out in the yard doing work. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember being starving. In Did school. you just have one lunch? I could just see like see you guys in jumpsuits as nine year olds. Like I can't wait till uh, third lunch. I kind of yeah. was as my no, safety. Third lunch was the worst. Yeah, you had to wait till like one o'clock to eat or something, and but then third lunch was the longest. It's like eight hours from what? fucking breakfast to lunch. It's horrible. Yeah. Starving. Don't care about history. Make don't care about math. I'm too hungry. Like, make it bigger. Make, make it bigger. Allow us to go whenever we want. But then How we'd about have that? more class time, huh? I feel like then they, if it was one period, then we'd have more time in class. Yeah. Did you guys ever have a food fight? No. no. We tried and food people fight. did it and it, they got in trouble. It wasn't like very big. We had like a young life food fight. How does that a food local fight park? end? Is it just like, the well, I, I gotta go home. Go I guess someone goes and whistles yeah, and goes, I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, pretty I much. I think oh, we get you. too carried away. <laughs> oh, no, the mashed potatoes goes in the principal's face oh, and everyone yeah. goes, uh, Obviously. Oh. The That's how only food fight I would ever want to take part in is the one from Hook, where it's like the imaginary like. I've never seen Hook. Robin Williams, right? Yeah, I know it's That's... Bangarang. Gang. I know, I know it's great. Oh I, who That's directed like one it? Of... Steve Spielberg. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Me immediately. Um, that scene is so good. I know. I know it's oh, good. It's such a good movie. I like the like food my fight. My favorite food fight scene in a movie is Max Keeble's Big oh, Move. Oh, that's a good one. That one. Is that's that a good one. Josh Peck? Josh Peck. He's the kid in the robe. <laughs> never seen it. Never seen Should Max Keeble's never Big seen Move. Hook. Remember the movie Snow Day? Yeah. Girl, I got it on VHS. I love how you say so, it like it's crazy. Wait, not Snow Day. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Listen to Snow the Dogs. Wind. No, sorry. It's not Snow Day. It's the one where um, it's it was a Disney movie and the one where they ha get the snow machine. The and ultimate then, Christmas present. Maybe. And it makes it snow in California. And they then their dad can't come home because there's so much snow. Like he couldn't. He because he's out of town. And he has to fly in, but he can't come home because there's so much Brenda snow. It's with Brenda Song. And the, and the little remember. blonde girl and the I mom so. from Lizzie McGuire uh, yes. is the mom. Yes. The ultimate Christmas present. Oh, that's a good and one. And there's like the two basketball players who are like the elves in it. Actually, oh, the guy who's oh. the voice of Patrick Starr is one of the elves. Oh. So you could do this Didn't all day. Didn't know that. Patrick Starr. That's like those TikToks where people find a way to like. Oh, oh, I would that. love to sit down with someone and you play that game. About? I could do what? that game all day. You like where... name someone oh. and then you talk oh, about how degrees. they're all related. Six degrees yeah. of Kevin Bacon. So, so give me two celebrities. Annette yeah. Benning and... Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Can you name people Carly knows. Yeah, okay, okay. please. Let's do Keanu Reeves and Julia Roberts. Boom. Uh... Boom. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Boom. I basically already got it. What? Really? Yeah. Let's hear it. Keanu Reeves was in the movie The Lake House with Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock was in... Uh, she's in Ocean's 8 with... George Clooney. With George Clooney. George Clooney's in Ocean's 11 with Julia Roberts. Wow. Damn. I would never be able to do this. No. No. Uh, let's do... Adam Sandler and... I'm like, I'm like Adam Sandler and Jack Nicholson. They were in a movie together. Yeah. Uh, okay, now let me think of two. Uh, Morgan Freeman and... Taylor Swift. <laughs> no, it has to be an actress. She is Valentine's Day. Okay, Morgan Freeman and Jennifer Lawrence. God. Oh. Do you get what we're doing? Yes. Okay. <laughs> How's your little teeny brain doing over there? I was like, <laughs> naming words? Just naming movies? Yeah. Did we stump him? Ugh, I don't know. I'm not in the right headspace for this. We can do it at lunch. Yeah, let's do it at lunch. All right. But cut, I'm starving and I have to pay you guys. Out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Okay.